All right, what's going on everybody? Um, different video and much shorter video here, but uh, I just wanted to talk about, um, in my opinion, obviously this whole video is gonna be um, my opinion. Um, there's tons of complexes you could do and they're all gonna help. It's, it's really good for beginners um, to help with the pull um, and making sure you're getting all the mechanics right. So this is what the complex is, snatch pull to hold plus a hip snatch. Hold is just, um, you'll see it in a second, but um, it's just kind of keeping extension at the top um, for a couple seconds. Um, this really helps with balance um, to make sure that you're hitting the bar up and not out. And um, that's one of the things you can drill all the mechanics of the first pull um, and do snatch pulls all day. But if you're kind of just smacking it um, and you're kind of off balance. You might not know that with just normal snatch pulls. Um, so that's why I really like these. And the hip snatch uh, part of the complex is important because that's your power position. Um, that's what you're trying to get to from the pool. Um, so you're starting there so you know what it feels like and you know what it feels like to explode out of that. Because a lot of times you'll hear the first pool serves no purpose other than to get into your power position because um, that's really where everything happens. That's why your first pull can be so slow and then you kind of explode as you pass the knees and then once you hit your power position, um, that's when you're really driving the bar. So it's a really good complex to just understand what's going on um, and what you need to be doing. And it's also not just for beginners, um, but it's still good things to work on, drilling balance and explosiveness with uh, the hip snatch. So uh, we're gonna get into it. Um, I'm gonna work up to a heavy complex for the day. I'm not gonna push the limit too much. Um, but yeah, I'll show it to you guys a couple times um, and explain some key points of it. All right, we got 155 in the bar. I'm just gonna go through some of the key points um, and explain uh, what you wanna be focusing on during this complex. Also, I'll add if you're a like extreme beginner, like this is your first time snatching, you're gonna wanna keep it really, really light and maybe add a just a normal snatch onto the end of this complex to make sure you're transferring all those skills over to a full snatch. You could do an EMOM or every two minutes on the minute. You On the odd, you do this complex. On the even, you do a full snatch. All right, so we're gonna set everything up like a normal snatch. Um, get into your snatch stance, flat-footed, push through your quads, shoulders over the bar. Once we hit full extension, we're just gonna hold it there for a second. All right, once you're you're already in the position for your hip snatch, and then you're just gonna make sure to extend upward, the explosive, and drop under the bar. All right, uh, 195, I'm gonna call it there. Um, my best on that complex is 205. Um, it feels pretty good, I could probably get up there right now, but um, I have a workout with some heavy snatching, so I'm just gonna do some full snatches to warm up. And like I said, that um, is really um, a technique complex, but it's also fun because you can get up there and wait. Um, it's not boring. It's a good one to throw in there. Hope you guys like this video. Send it to your friends who, uh, have pretty bad snatch form, which you all have at least a couple of them. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Um, I can do a clean and jerk one. I could even do a clean one and then a separate jerk one. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys liked it. Um, let me know if this helps you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.